Mainly, I wanted to discuss the difference in your performance between last year and 2020. You were the top rated employee in 2020, but it doesn't feel like you've been nearly as present or focused since then. Yeah, yeah. What's changed? Well, yeah, so 2020 uh, was the second year in a row I didn't get a raise, even though I was the top employee. And when I asked why I couldn't get a raise, you said it was because my position, no, my pay was a fair market value for my position. And when I asked for my pay falls on the pay grade scale, you said it was below the median. So the below the average of what I could make uh, in my position. So at that point, I just decided I'm going to become a fair market value employee and put in a below average amount of effort because that's what I feel like you pay me to do. You've created an environment where there's no incentive for me to work hard, so I don't. Okay, so here is what happened. That is a video of me talking to my boss. However, the voice in the video is a voice actor friend of mine who I had recreate what my boss said to me. But that is the video of what my boss, uh, the conversation I had with my boss. And before I say anything, I love my boss. I know she had no say in what my pay was. She's just a department manager. And in a corporate setting, that really doesn't mean much. Yeah, but I have been like, it has been pent up in me. I wanted to say it for so long as soon as I was told I had a fair market value salary. Oh, anyway, um, so the long silence met by a drawn out sigh. And then my boss went through the five stages of grief landed on acceptance and finally went, can you please just do your job for the rest of the time that we're here? Because we're only here for a few more weeks. We're both getting laid off. So I just don't have anything to lose. So I'm going to say what I